Android, an open source operating system for mobile devices that power millions of smartphones and tablets. But is it truly open source or is it just open like OpenAI? Let's talk about the Android Open Source Project or AOSP, the very foundation that makes operating system tick. It's a project led by Google in 2008 and designed to be open source meaning the source code is freely available to anyone to inspect, modify, and distribute. AOSP includes the core framework libraries and a set of basic apps like phone dialer, messaging app, and web browser. Developers can take this toolkit and create their own version of Android. While AOSP is open source, not every part of Android experience falls under this umbrella. Many Android devices come with proprietary elements that are not open source, one of the biggest proprietary elements in Google Play services. This suite of APIs and service provides a tons of functionality like access to Google Maps, cloud messaging, and location services. It's crucial for many apps to work properly, but Google Play services is not part of AOSP and is not open source. Manufacturers also add their own proprietary layers on the top of AOSP. Take Samsung's One UI or Xiaomi's MIUI for example, but they are not open source either. Custom rooms like Lineage OS, Paranoid Android and Pixel Experience use the open source code from AOSP but modify it to offer different feature performance improvements and user interface. They might include enhancements that you won't find in stock and door experience or remote bloatware and unnecessary features. It also means that in theory you could get updates and enhancements directly from the community even if your device manufacturer don't care about your Roman Empire aged mobile. Android offers a semi environment while the core AOSP is open source and available for anyone to use and modify. So we can call Android's openness a bit of gimmick. Don't stop watching PEXT.